Did San Francisco finally clean up their streets just for the arrival of the president of China? What is really going on here? Boy, this really boils my blood, man. They cleaned up that dirty blue city for a red common, man. And maybe if they just clean up the Chinatown, it makes sense, but not the whole darn thing. <laughs> All right, everybody, this viral video is going around and everybody thinks that San Francisco finally cleaned up their streets uh, just for Xi Jinping, but I don't really think that's true. But anyways, let's watch the clip. Here we are, downtown San Francisco. And as you can see, they got it blocked off. I'm not a big fan of these barricades. It's sad our country's not safe enough. Sad they got to put up barricades. Can only imagine how the economy are. While San Francisco is in the spotlight for the Asia Pacific Economic Conference, city leaders are making sure the city shines. Tourism is our business here in San Francisco, and we need to focus on making sure that the tourist dollars still come back. Caltrans repaving major roadways like the Harrison Street off-ramp from the I-80. BART doubling down by deep cleaning their stations overnight more often. The city had gotten a little bit dingy over time. Scrubbing and... Oh! You know, there's just a lot of research that goes into this that most people who are just, you know, reacting emotionally on social media will not do. But long story short, Andrew, it's the APEC convention. These are the largest economies from across the Pacific. You know who else is going to be there, Andrew? Leaders from Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, uh, obviously China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines, the Russian Federation, Singapore... Taiwan, Thailand, the United States, and Vietnam. And not to mention world leaders, there's going to be a lot of high-level CEOs. Journalists as well. And journalists. So basically, there's just going to be a flood of hundreds upon hundreds of very, very important people or high people. And a lot of people. them are Asian. Yeah, and a lot of them are Asian. So SF was saying, oh, they're meeting in San Francisco. Well, we better clean up at least half of the downtown um, to make it safe and clean and also a good image for everybody. But obviously everybody just looks at Xi Jinping. Oh, Xi Jinping's coming. Gavin Newsom uh, oh, got down on his knees and started scrubbing the streets himself for, for President Xi because he loves him so much. Well, because he was out there hooping, right. knocking over kids. Play that clip. And Some awkward moments during Governor Newsom's China trip over the weekend. He was showing off his basketball moves oh. with a group of students when he lost his footing. Anyways, we're going to get into the details, guys. So please hit that like button right now and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. And let us know if you guys like our commentary. But also... Check out Smala Sauce. And if you go to the Instagram, you're going to see all the different chefs and foodies that do like our very own finishing oil from Sichuan to Sicily. It's delicious. I mean, how much does Instagram matter? It seems like obviously everybody on Instagram is such a hilarious lunchroom type like water cooler, but more un PC type app. But really, people do not look into things, right? No, no, no. They, they really don't read beyond the headline. Um, it seems like Reddit's a little bit better, and of course, Quora is almost like grad school. Yeah, level. I mean, everybody's having a knee jerk reaction. I understand why. A lot of people don't trust Gavin Newsom. They think he's just a beautiful, handsome face who is inept and can't do anything for his state. To be fair, him admitting that they cleaned it up for the important people, this whole clip, it's weird. What I'm just saying is that there are so many other logical reasons on why they would clean up the streets, why they would seal shut the sewer tops, why they would put a fencing around the sidewalks. Right. Because literally, it's a security risk, right? It's literally a security risk. Now, where did they put the homeless people? Did they put it in a warehouse so that everybody's hanging out and partying? I have no idea how they did it, but it's not all of the downtown. It's only around the few blocks that are really around the city center. But I guess though that those blocks hadn't been clear for like three years. Yeah. And that's what has been causing the before and after photos and so much discussion, right? Well, David, David, I don't think that SF was tricking anybody. Like, it's not like Xi Jinping gets off the plane and be like, wow, Governor Newsom, I had no idea that San Francisco was so clean this whole time. Those videos that I have seen that spread across the internet were all lies and propaganda. And now I know that you actually truly do run the best city in the world. No, everybody knows that SF was crappy. Everybody knows, man. Right. Do you think part of it was because the Asians are coming? And the Gavin, Governor Newsom's like, listen, these guys, they don't even uh, wear shoes in their house. They don't even eat with their hands. They eat with chopsticks. 
Let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit. For the, I mean, these people, are they, they live very, they're going to be mortified. Yeah, I mean, what if the Asian leaders want to rock around barefooted or on the sidewalk? I don't want them to have them step into some hypodermic needles and human feces. That'd uh, be... <laughs> Are, are the changes going to be permanent, Andrew? What are you going to think? Realistically, there's going to be some slippage once APEC is over, right? I actually think, logically speaking, that this was a great catalyst to start cleaning up part of San Francisco. Will it stay this spotless? Of course it won't. It's like, David, like growing up when in our household, you know, it wasn't, it was, it was clean, up for a but it wasn't, meeting. it was messy a lot. It was, it wasn't neat, right? So then when we had like, People over, mom would put us into clean mode. You say, okay, everybody, go clean this. You clean that, you clean that. And then we'd all be in this frenzy and the whole house would look completely different. But we know it wouldn't stay like that, but it would stay like that for a little while. Do you think some of the glimmer of America has worn off and like some of the Japanese are going to go there and be like, little Tokyo, even with the cleanup is much dirtier than actual Tokyo. Uh -huh. uh, the once dominant West... Seems like it's cracking. Uh, hey, guys, how about uh, we take a lesson from the Japanese and make Japantown actually as clean as a Japanese town would be? Um, I think right now, America is a little bit like a Tesla. You know, Teslas, for a while, they went through a five-year span. People thought it was the perfect car. Right, and then, right, of course, right. all of this stuff started coming out. Creaky doors, a little bit. The fit and finish is not as good as other EVs or uh, doesn't seal cabin noise as well. But people still like it for the pros. So some people still choose to buy Teslas, but I guess the pros and the cons, the upsides and the downsides are more glaringly obvious on both ends, right? Right, right, right. So anyway, let's just get into the comment section, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. But you know what, Andrew? That people do not need to hide their love of Smala Sauce. Again, check it out, smalasauce.com, Instagram.com slash Smala Sauce. From Sichuan to Sicily, guys, shipping soon. Thank you for being patient. Somebody said, what an ins uh, insult to us residents who have suffered for three years. How come you guys are going to do it for these fancy Asian leaders and CEOs and you guys won't do for your Dude. own people? Okay, what I just don't want people to do is hate Asians anymore for this. What, your city got cleaned up because a bunch of Asians and other world leaders and CEOs are coming? I'm sorry. Listen, it's long Long overdue, I agree. SF was a crap hole. It was super messy. Everybody complained about it, even on the internet for a long time. They finally took a good chance, a good catalyst to do it. Maybe the people of San Francisco are like, guys, listen, once we clean up the city once, we really only have a 30-day window before it goes back to crap. So we got to time the cleanup right before APAC, and then it'll go back to crap right after APAC. I mean... It's tough to explain to people, but like once you guys, if you if people do read the economic section and they do have, it's tough to say everybody's at a different level of economic understanding. All these journalists, CEOs, and world leaders, they got to clean it up, like you said, for a security concern. But it is an optics thing, right? It is, it and is. probably like, something still is crazy going to happen to somebody in somebody's entourage extended or something. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they're going to have police everywhere. You just guys, this is not a normal event convention to have in your city this is not a comic-con okay this is not a sports event this is literally like a lot of the most important people in the world are going to be there so of course of course there's probably going to be SWAT right. team on there's going to be the bomb squad ready to go like this is a not a normal event what do you think about everybody in the comment section like I said I know everybody's at a different level of formal education and understanding of world issues some of it was like why are we even letting this foreign adversary Xi Jinping land in America you know and a lot of things like that I guess like are people misunderstanding the difference between an enemy, a rival, and an opponent. Yeah, so and a frenemy. I, this is all the things. I, I guess for those uh, you know martial arts guys out there, what if you think about it this way? America and China are in this ongoing BJJ match. Now, how do you win a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu match? You have to submit. One person has to submit. You tap out, right? So I'm saying like, because you're not punching each other, you're not trying to knock each other out, but you are trying to submit the other person. So so maybe there are little tricks. Someone's sticking their finger into someone's butt crack or like someone kind of elbowed another person or, or you know, someone's uh, finger kind of slipped into they're someone's right. eye. Little ear slab, little There ear might ring. be a little, a few dirty plays here and there, but really they're trying to submit each other. They're not, they're not trying to murder each other and destroy each other because we all know that is not going to be good for the world. So everybody is, knows that. So yes, they are definitely in a fighting match together. Right. Somebody said, why does an American city need to be cleaned up at all, man? Just take care of the people who need help. And someone said, can, can they just all come once a week? Because if that's the only thing that motivates the leadership to get it done, then let's just do it. And then, uh, of course, there was a whole argument about 
you know, the causes of, I guess, an epidemic of of unhousedness in yeah. America, and and is it related to the opioids, uh, and is this and that, and it's spiral, and what is the, the personal responsibility versus the public responsibility mm. of the social contract of the government and the citizens, yeah. but then obviously they're citizens, but what about the other citizens that are just trying to live their life too? Yeah. Like how no. do you balance everybody's concerns? I think it's a legit concern. And I don't know. I'd have to watch some videos from experts on how to potentially in a practical way, solve the unhoused situation. Like, do you just build them houses? Do you just build them housing? Or is there some other way? I have no idea. Right. How, what regulations yeah. come with that housing? What buy-in is necessary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a difficult situation. But regardless, I guess what my takeaway from is this is like a lot of people had this reaction and saw this viral video and was like, what? Xi Jinping's coming to town and then all of a sudden America does everything it needs to do just to look good for President Xi, our enemy. Right, because they like, just offered Newsom a CBA contract out yeah, there. Yeah, like it, it was just for, it was just everybody's coming. Like every, not just President Xi. Like everybody is I, coming. I, you know what the weird thing about social media is? Is people have 10 out of 10 opinions emotionally and they even say some really funny things motivated by lack of context, half-truths, or hand-picked self-selective, I mean, like, hand-picked facts yeah. without the full context, and nobody has any interest in doing the deep research, so they have a 10 out of 10 emotional reaction, don't look back on the truth, and then just move on with their life, and that's sort of what, driving the polarization of the country, possibly, at least from the, the less well-read people? Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I just hope this doesn't build, like, more, like, oddly enough, something like SF cleaning up its streets because of APEC is actually going to spark like a little bit more anti-Asian sentiment because people are mad that they cleaned up the streets for the Asians. Like I would hate for that to be the truth. Like that sounds so ridiculous to me, but part of me believes that there's a small percentage chance that that is true. Well, there is Australians in there too. They're going to be blonde. Most likely. I mean, not all Australians. There are some I think white just the leadership. Coming. Just the what, leadership. No, what if, what if the headline was SF cleans up for white Australians? <laughs> like, well, that, that makes sense. You know, Sydney's really clean. They want to. Well, clean. as they should clean up for other white people. They really should. Anyways, guys, uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. Uh, if you guys live or have been to San Francisco lately, do you think it's possible that the streets stay somewhat clean for a long period of time, or is this just a weekend thing? Yeah, so. we used to call this place Gold Mountain, but now it's looking like Mold Mountain. <laughs> yeah, you know, they used to call it Golden Mountain, but now I just see homeless people treating it as a golden fountain. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That anyway, good. guys, shout let out. us know what you think of the comment section below. Um, shout out to APEC, I guess. I hope there's good trade relations over the Pacific for everybody. And it benefits everybody. But we got a lot of issues that we got to solve internally here. Um, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Keep it civil. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.